Hello friends, this is Shravan. This is my YouTube channel, Civil Engineering by Shravan. To subscribe my channel, click on subscribe button and click on bell icon for more interesting updates. In this video lecture, I will explain you analysis and designing of G plus eight story setback building designed by using StatPro V8I software part two. So I was already done my modeling process for that respected video in my previous sections. So I will provide you that video link in below description above card link and end screen of this respected video. So please watch that video initially before continuing to the part two. So in this video, I will explain your designing details. So initially I will show you the modeling. So this is my G plus eight story model building. So after modeling process is done, we need to apply the load cases here. So for this respected building structure, just I am assuming load cases will be consisting of dead load, live load, seismic load as well as wind load. So initially we need to define the seismic load as well as wind load here. Select the place mark here. Select the seismic definitions. Click on add button. So here I am selecting type. Just I am selecting it as IS 1893-2002. Click on generate option. So here we need to select the seismic zone as well as response reduction value, importance factor value as well as other parameters like soil condition. Just I am selecting here as zone condition which is of high seismic zone. So after that we need to select the response reduction factor 5. Next I am considering importance, for, uh, importance factor for the important buildings only which is consisting of 1.5 factor. So after that we need to select the soil properties. So here I am considering medium soil conditions. Click on generate option. So it will generate the parameters like this. Now we need to add the damping ratio here. Just I am considering it as 0.05. Click on add button. Now we need to add the self weight here. Click on add button, close option. So after that we need to define the wind loading condition. Select the wind definitions here. Click on add button. Select type 1 wind 1. Click on add button here. Close option here. Now we need to select type 1 wind 1 here. Click on add button. Now we need to enter the values of the intensity for the respected height here. So here I am considering intensity will be consisting of 1 which is acting at a distance of 27 meter. So after that we need to enter one more intensity. Just I am considering 0.5 which is acting at a distance of 18. Again, I am taking 0.2, which is acting at a distance of 9 meter. Again, I am taking 0.1, which is acting at a distance of 3 meter. Click on add button. So after that, we need to add the exposure factor. So here I am considering one. Click on add button here. Close option. Select exposure one with the help of assign to view option. Click on assign option. Yes button. So after that, we need to give the load case details option. Select load case details option. Click on add button. So here we need to select the load case number of one, which is consisting of seismic load. So here I'm considering earthquake load in X direction condition. Click on add button. Again, I'm considering earthquake load in Z direction condition. Click on add button. So after that, we need to define the wind load here. Here I'm considering wind load in X direction. Again, I'm taking wind load in Z direction condition here. WZ, click on add button. So after that, we need to add the dead load condition. So here I'm selecting dead load condition, load case number 5, DL, add it. Again, I'm selecting live load condition, LL, add it, close option. Select earthquake load in X direction condition, click on add button. So here we need to select the seismic load in X direction with the factor 1, add button, close option. Now we need to select earthquake load in Z direction. So click on add button here. So here we need to select the seismic load in Z direction with the factor 1. Add it, close option. Select the wind load in X direction condition. Click on add button. So here we need to select the wind load with X direction factor 1. Click on add button. Again, we have to add minus 1 factor opposite direction. Click on add button, close option. Now we need to select wind load in Z direction condition. Click on add button. Just I am selecting wind load here with the Z direction windward facing with the factor 1 here. Add it. Again, I'm selecting minus one is the factor. Click on add button, close option. Now I'm selecting dead load condition here. Click on add button. So here we need to select the cell fit, add it, close it, select live load option. Click on add button. Now I'm selecting the flow load here, which is consisting of minus four, which is acting at a distance of three meter and 27 meter here. My first lab is at distance of three meter here and last lab is at a distance of 27. Click on add, close, select the cell fit with the help of assign to view, assign, yes. So select the Y range. This is the action of live load for this respected building. So after that, we need to select the materials here, select the concrete material. 
with the help of assign to view assign yes so after that go to analysis and print option add your now print option close option go to analyze option run analysis save it so here we need to check for the zero errors for this respected g plus a story set back building so here my model is checking for the zero errors so here my model is observed with zero errors go to post processing mode click on done button so here we need to click on apply button click on ok so this is the deflection diagram for this respected building due to presence of the live load condition the building will be deflected in downward direction like this so select the dead load condition here so this is the dead load deflection diagram for this respected structure go to select your earthquake load in x direction earthquake load in z direction wind load in x direction condition wind load in z direction condition so after that select the beam here so here we need to deselect mz value select fy value so this is the shear force diagram for this respected structure due to presence of the wind load in x z direction condition so here i am selecting dead load condition live load condition so here i am selecting earthquake load in x direction earthquake load in z direction condition wind load in x wind load in z so after that select the bending moment diagram deselect the fy value just i am selecting it as dead load condition here so this is the bending moment diagram which is related to dead load condition so live load condition earthquake load in x direction condition earthquake load in z direction wind load in x direction wind load in z direction now select the plate cutter here apply your stress type as maximum absolute pressure apply okay so this is the maximum absolute pressure for dead load condition live load condition earthquake load in x direction condition z direction wind load in x wind load in z so after that go to animation option here click on deflection option apply okay this is the deflection due to presence of wind load in z direction select dead load option here this is the deflection dead load this is the live load deflection earthquake load in x direction deflection earthquake load x direction deflection earthquake load in z direction deflection so this is the wind load in x direction wind load in z direction so after analysis part is completed we need to design this respected building as per is code so select modeling option here click on design option here click on concrete design so here i am selecting is456 code click on select parameters initially we need to deselect all selected parameters from this parameters we need to select compression elastic elastic of shear reinforcement maximum main maximum secondary md1 md2 click on okay select define parameters here so here i am assuming 30000 m30 grade concrete for this respected section click on add button select fy main so here i am considering 600000 for the steel section click on add button again i am selecting section reinforcement so here i am considering 600000 click on add button select maximum main so here i am considering 20 mm bars click on add button maximum secondary also 20 mm bars click on add button select md1 so here i am selecting md1 will be consisting of 16 mm click on add button md2 also 16 mm click on add button close option so after that we need to select the commands option click on design beam command click on add button select design column command click on add button design slab element command click on add button take off command click on add button close option so after that we need to assign this respected question marks select fc with the help of assign to view assign yes select fy main click on assign to view option assign yes select fy section reinforcement assign to view assign yes maximum main assign to view assign yes maximum secondary assign to view assign yes select md1 assign to view assign yes select md2 assign to view assign yes option select design beam command go to select beams parallel to x direction beams parallel to z direction click on assign to selected beams assign yes option so select design column command go to select option beams parallel to y direction click on assign to selected beams assign yes go to select design element command with the help of assign to view option assign yes option so after that go to analysis and print option add your no print close option again go to analyze option run analysis save so here we need to check for the zero errors for this respected design so here my model is checking for the zero errors so here my model is observed with zero errors go to post processing mode click on done option so deselect the deflection diagram so select any one of the beam from this respected structure so here i am selecting this respected beam here just double click on it click on concrete design so this is the concrete design so it will be consisting of eight bars of 12 mm dia 4 16 and center to center distance top reinforcement 
and 8 bars of 12 mm dia 31 center center distance bottom reinforcement and stirrups will be consisting of 8 mm bars of 8 center to center distance click on close option so after that select any one of the column just i am selecting this respected column double click on it so this is the concrete design for this respected structure it will be consisting of 20 number of bars of 12 mm dia ast percentage is 0 0.90 and ast requirement is 2000 mm square for the respected m30 grade concrete 600 grade steel click on close option so after designing the beam and column we need to see the stat output file so for that select the stat output file option here so it will load the stand output file for this respected building like this click on results option here so here we need to select the concrete design click on concrete design so this is the concrete design it will be consisting of each and individual calculations for the beam sections as well as the column section reinforcement values for this respected g plus 8 building so click on close option here so after analysis part and design part is completed we need to design the foundation select the foundation option include all load cases click on run start foundation the fixed supports of this respected g plus 8 story building will be directly imported to start foundation software here so these are my fixed supports we need to design the foundation for this respected fixed supports so for that initially we need to create the load combinations select the place mark here click on generate load combinations here so here we need to select the load cases as per indian standard system click on generate load combinations for the service load combination initially click on ok click on generate load combinations for the ultimate load combination click on ok click on generate load combinations for the service load combinations click on ok click on generate load combinations for the ultimate load combinations click on ok so cancel this go to select job setup option click on create new job so here we need to select the job name just i am selecting it as zzz isolated footing and uh, indian system units will be in si assigned to all supports so here we need to select the load combinations just i am selecting 101 102 201 202 203 again we have to select a 204 include this load cases click on create job so cancel this respected option select isolated footing job design parameters cover and rebar values here so this is the concrete and rebar values so here we need to change the grade of concrete so as per my assumption just i am taking grade of concrete will be 30 here and grade of steel will be of 600 so here i am changing my options here again select the cover and soil type so here i am considering bearing capacity of soil will be consisting of 180 kilonewton per meter square so after that select the footing and geometry sliding and overturning click on design option click on s button so it will design this respected foundation as per is 456 2000 code so this is the foundation design so here i am selecting isolated footing of six so it will be consisting of each and individual calculations and designing a foundation so click on starting page this is the starting page geometry details and drawing so this is the details and drawing for the respected foundation geo drawing calculation sheet so this is the process analysis and designing of g plus eight story setback building by using star pro software so if you are really want to learn stat pro or autocad software to become professional please take my paid promotions i will guide you how to become a professional in civil engineering architectural engineering as well as structure engineering i will provide you that link in below description for the paid promotions thank you